you guys enjoy tuning in at 2 p.m. Actually, even earlier, because every time I can see my computer, some of you are there waiting for me. So, Chin Chin to us, I think it's 54 days. 5-4, 54 giorni ragazzi, benvenuti, 54 giorni che abbiamo passato insieme, how awesome is that, 54 days, so which means that our quarantine has been uh, longer, 54 days, but hey, we have to keep positive, every day in quarantine is one day less, that's what I say, ogni giorno in più è un giorno in meno, so you know that uh, on Saturday we cook, so I'm always, uh, you know, Diane teach me some, uh, Science uh, uh, language. Oh, let me stop my dishwasher. I, I, there was some noise from my dishwasher, so I stopped it. Diane Fiorentino, she teaches me some uh, science language. So today we will be, we are cooking. Oh. Let me see if I can stop my dishwasher. I did it. So today we are cooking. How awesome is that? JJ is still on? No, it stops. Well, Today we are cooking and as I told you, we are cooking a pasta with broccoli. You know, every Monday I let you know what we cook on Saturday so you guys are able to uh, do some food shopping if you want to make the same recipe the same day together with me or the day after. So today we are cooking pasta with broccoli and today it's also a special day because today is actually the birthday of a dear friend of mine today is uh, uh, Clint Holmes birthday uh, he was my guest I think two weeks ago is a Grammy uh, nominated uh, singer one of our best uh, singer here in Las Vegas in the whole United States so if you have not seen interview with Clint Holmes you can go on jada.life and look it back again we had an amazing time together and he shared a lot about he, himself as, as, as an, a, a person we all know the artist and you know when I interview my friends I show everybody what I love about them which is normally is their personality the warmth and the kind person that they are so happy birthday to you dear Clint Holmes so this is the sign language for happy birthday to you dear clean toms and today is also the birthday of a friend of everybody actually billy joel billy joel so happy birthday to you too dear billy joel and thank you for the music of course you guys in new york uh, and in uh, long island i think he's, he still lives in long island i think uh, billy joel so you guys can go there and wish him happy birthday also for me or let him know that i wish him Happy birthday to Billy Joel too. So two amazing singer and songwriters and artists today. But actually today also there are some other, you know, I, I uh, made a Doug Hardline for my, um, my dear friend in, uh, in Sacramento. I made him my chief editor because uh, he, Doug knows everything. He's posting every day about birthday and special things that happen in the world. So today uh, Doug also made me aware that today, actually this one I actually didn't know, that in 2065 today, Dante Alighieri was born, which is one of uh, the most famous Italian poets that we have. He wrote, uh, of course, the uh, Inferno and the Divina Commedia, the, which we have to study at school. And so, and he was born in Florence in, in 2065. So to you guys to make a calculation how old he would be. So happy birthday, Dante, Dante Alighieri. Today, also in 1502, Christopher Columbus, another uh, Italian, made the fourth and last trip to the New World. We are the New World here in the United States. And in 1962, the Beatles today signed the first contract with EMI. So today, that's where the music happened. In 1962, the Beatles signed the contract. And you know that every Sunday or sometimes during the week, I sing a Beatles song because, of course, the Beatles made music history. So uh, today it happened in 1962. So how many years ago? You guys made the calculation. Actually, today I can also see my computer over there so I can read some of the comments live for you. What else is happening today? Uh, Diane Fiorentino went to UCLA yesterday and had eye surgery, so she's recovering from that. So she's blind, she can't see us, she can hear us though. And she told me that today, uh, dear friends of her, uh, Katy and, and, and Ray Avino Cerdi are having their 44th anniversary wedding anniversary so I don't know Katie and Ray but of course happy 44th wedding anniversary you know I'm all about love it's 2 p.m. here on the east coast I'm Giada Valenti in Las Vegas of course but I'm Italian born and raised in Venice Italy 
5 p.m. for you guys over there on the East Coast and ora 23 per voi che ci guardate dall'Italia ciao mamma, ciao papà che ci guardate sempre e tutti i miei cugini e la mia famiglia and uh, you guys uh, uh, 22 uh, for all of you watching from Ireland and England I know that many of you are watching from there talking of England, yesterday um, there was uh, some problem with the internet connection so I didn't got from uh, Doug uh, uh, some information yesterday was, a, but of course I... I i was so busy with other things, but my, my mom and dad told me, you know, my whole family is in Europe. And yesterday, May 8th, was V-Day. V-Day was the victory Europe. And it was the 75th anniversary since the war with Germany ended. And, um, of course, we all know that uh, the World War II ended for the whole world at the end of August, because uh, when the, it ended in Europe, uh, May 8th, 1945, was still on in the Pacific. So yesterday was a special day for all the people in uh, uh, Europe. I know many of you are watching from England. And, uh, um, and uh, so uh, yesterday I, I saw actually on the internet because that made me aware. I saw, I watched uh, later the beautiful uh, message that Queen Elizabeth of England uh, did yesterday. And uh, she was thinking back about the speech of uh, uh, King George, the father of uh, Elizabeth. And, uh, she, re she we were listening to the speech and of course king george said never give up never despair and queen elizabeth said our property is that what my father said so many years ago 75 years ago is still so relevant and still stood today and so queen queen elizabeth was very nice and touching she actually said that uh, the streets of london were empty because normally when v day uh, happened everybody is celebrating she said today the streets of london and england were empty but there's never been so much love for all of us uh, all over the country because she said look what we do we stay home to protect each other so I thought it was very beautiful if you have not seen it you can go on YouTube and you you google Queen Elizabeth V, v, uh, v Day and you can see Queen Elizabeth I think JJ shows some pictures also Queen Elizabeth uh, uh, looked amazing she did a beautiful beautiful speech and uh, yesterday of course because of V Day all over in England in uh, apparently there was um this is Doug told me, because I was not aware. There was in uh, a singer that she's still alive, actually, by the way. Her name is Vera Lynn. She's going to turn 103 years old in a couple of uh, months. And she was the uh, World War II sweetheart, because she had a son that was called We'll Meet Again. And everybody was singing. And, and when V-Day happened, everybody was singing all over the, the, the world, actually. People were hugging and kissing. All things we want to do when this corona uh, is over. That's what happened on V-Day. And uh, yesterday in England, everybody was singing that song. So if you go, if you put uh, uh, We'll Meet Again, uh, England, and May 8th, you will see all these uh, celebrity and non-celebrity first responders, doctors, nurses. Everybody was singing pieces of We'll Meet Again. So I thought tomorrow we have the concert. I'm going to learn the song this afternoon and we are gonna sing it tomorrow so if you never heard the song like me you're gonna hear it tomorrow so thank you Doug for uh, making me discover things uh, that happened so far before my my birth but uh, it's very important to um, remember the past because we are here because uh, free people even if we are in the quarantine we are free people because of people that sacrificed during the world the, 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 the time before us and World War two was for sure a world a, a war that uh, was for the whole world so every time I today I teach you to cook and also I teach you every time some sign language and today I want to teach you also some Italian we have to pick up the Italian so today oggi today I uh, you know in sign language is today we cook which in Italian is oggi si cucina so today si cucina Oggi si cucina. I know many of you love to learn Italian, so oggi means today, si cucina, we are cooking. And, uh, and why si cucina, why are we cooking? Because ho fame, I'm hungry. How about it? Ho fame. Are you, do I fame? Are you hungry? So ho fame, quindi oggi si cucina. Una ricetta semplice semplice is a very, very easy uh, uh, recipe. So you need only a few ingredients because if you remember, I told you that the secret of Italian uh, kitchen is simplicity. My grandmother used to say and my mom too that if a recipe needs more than four ingredients, it's not a recipe, it's a piece of crap, which is so true. And of course, four ingredients never uh, count olive oil, salt and pepper or sugar because those are something that is on the basic of all recipe. So the recipe today is 
pasta con i broccoli e le acciughe. Pasta with broccoli and anchovies. It's very easy, so I didn't make it in advance because I can show you how easy and fast it is to make. You need only a few ingredients. You need the short pasta, any kind of short pasta of uh, your choice. You know, I told you that one of the things that the, the rules that we follow in the Italian kitchen is when the sauce has a chunky pieces like uh, meat or vegetable, we tend to like uh, a, pa a, a pasta that can embrace the, the, the sauce, so a short pasta, like a conchiglia or a farfalla or something like that, or a fusillo. When the sauce that you make is more liquid or with cre or creamy, like with cream fresh or with tomato sauce stuff, then we like the spaghetti of any kind of long shape pasta because then the pasta doesn't need to be uh, embraced. The pasta can go all over the place. So I chose for today this pasta, this shape of pasta, because it's the one I have it on. But as I said, any kind of short pasta will do. You need to steam some broccoli, which are very healthy for us because they have a lot of vitamins. So I steam them in advance. So this one you can eat if you want. And uh, you need some garlic. Here is some garlic. And you need some anchovies. I know many of you here are many anchovies. Many people... Uh, the broccoli again here are steamed broccoli JJ is asking me to show the broccoli again so you can steam the broccoli in advance or maybe you already steamed it the day before and you have some leftover that's the perfect uh, opportunity for making this pasta so you steam your broccoli like I did before I'm already uh, boiling some uh, some pasta if you don't because you don't want to have the pasta overcooked so and you don't know in the beginning maybe how long it takes to make the sauce the first time so I would say first make the sauce and then you cook the pasta so you make sure that your pasta is al dente you don't want to have overcooked pasta so let's start to make this recipe so easy you take some garlic I, I kind of like the garlic so I take two little things of garlic and you cut it as small as you can be uh, even though I like garlic I don't like to fill it uh, in my mouth so you cut the garlic as small as you can Normally, JJ is my, um, the one that cuts the thing. So Natalie, when she was here, she was, uh, she was cutting my food. Here we go. Because I don't like the smell of garlic. I love the taste, I don't like the smell. So here's my garlic. So let me take my frying pan. Because you, I cannot take you to the oven. So you put your garlic that I chopped very finely. Can you see it? I put it in my frying pan. I'll show you here in a second. Here it is. And you put olive oil. As much as you want. I mean, it, oil oil is gonna be your sauce, so you can go a little bit. Uh, put as much as you want, and you don't forget you're gonna have also the oil of the anchovies. And we put it on the stove and we cook it on a high flame. I would say like uh, until it turn kind of brownish. It will take like uh, two minutes. So I just uh, put it on the stove. So. Well, that is cooking, uh, I, I, as I said, I didn't make it in advance because I want to show you how easy as fast. So that's going to turn a little bit brown in a few minutes. And when that is done, we are going to have the anchovies. So that's the thing. Many people don't like anchovies. For instance, I had a discussion with my mom. My mom makes it without anchovies. And my father always complained it doesn't taste like anything. Because, let's be honest, broccoli don't taste like nothing. So I said to my mom, the next time I'm going to make it for anchovies with them. I made it once for my friend Natalie when she was visiting here from Toulouse. And she hates anchovies. And you should know that I don't like broccoli. So, And I do love this pasta. So... The thing is, if you don't like anchovies, anchovies, unless you like the taste of it and you can eat it like this, like I, I can, if you don't like it, you put it on the oil and it's going to be melting in a hot oil with the garlic, the anchovies will disappear. So you will not taste the anchovies. You're only going to taste the kind of salty, kind of uh, salty taste of anchovies. If you don't like anchovies, just use a couple of them. Me, because I really love anchovies more than broccoli, I use the whole can. But you can say you can use half of it if you're not sure you're gonna like it. Me, normally, I use it all. And JJ, listen to this, JJ doesn't like anchovies. Because me, I can put anchovies in my pasta, in my pizza, in my sandwich. JJ doesn't like it. I will ask it yesterday, later because he's joining me later here. Because I know many of you wants to see him. But he loves this pasta. So I can hear, because I can hear the fry pan, that, so my garlic is frying here. And it's getting like a brown. When that is done, you just had your anchovies. Me, I love the anchovies, so I put the whole can. I'm going to show you in a second when they melt, because they really are going to melt in the oil, and you're not going to see them. 
And I said again, if you like the taste of anchovies, then you don't have to let them melt away completely. You just uh, let them uh, do little pieces. So can you hear the oil? It's cooking. I'm going to lower a little bit the fire. Otherwise, it's going to make my whole kitchen a mess, and then I have to clean the whole kitchen. So my pasta in the meantime is cooking. Let me hire the place. So basically, I'll show you in a second. The anchovies will melt away completely. I'm going to bring that frying pan there so you can see it. They are already melting a little bit, so I'm going to do it extra for you because uh, JJ doesn't like the taste of uh, the anchovies, so I normally cook them until they melt completely. Do they have questions, JJ? Is anybody having questions? Is this a recipe for the or for the stuff? You know, I don't think, uh, I mean, we, I'm from the north and I made it. I think it's more from the north because we, or, or let's say, not even the north and the south. It's more from the, the city near the, the, the sea because anchovies are um, something from people that, that, that like fish. So I know that they made it also in Genoa. So let's say the north of Italy for sure. I, my grandmother from the south never made this recipe for me. But I... I uh, my, my grandmother didn't like very much fish, so I'm sure it is from all Italy. And you know what it is? I don't know actually where really this recipe originated, but I'm more confident than in, say, any coast city, so maybe also in the south, because I know that in the south they have a lot of recipes with broccoli. So I'm going to show you my anchovies that almost all melted away. Already you can see I put them on big, and they are, if I cook them for extra two minutes, can people see this, JJ? Yeah, sure. Open the uh, I don't know. Yeah. So I'm gonna cook it for two extra seconds, so they're gonna melt away because it's um, it's it, there is no structure in the anchovy, so they're gonna be disappearing completely in the oil. So here it is. When this is happening, it's already happening. That's very easy. You remember you boiled already your uh, broccoli. You can eat them like this because they are boiled broccoli. So you can make them most of the day before. Actually, these were some leftover of broccoli of yesterday. So, and you're gonna put them on your on the fry pan. I can do that now. Here we go. And you let them cook for. Um, they're already cooked, so they just have to to take to to go together with the oil and the anchovies and take a little bit of taste of everything. You can mash smash them a little bit with your things if you don't like chunky big pieces, so it becomes more like a sauce. Here we go, not completely, because I mean you want to have some taste of the broccoli, here we go. So make sure, in the meantime, my pasta is ready, so let me close my pasta. Here we go, I'm going to show you in a second how they're going to look. I told you, all the recipe actually that I make, there are so many <coughs> And actually, uh, next week maybe I'll show you how to make it. We were discussing about the fennel. Can you tell the people that uh, just tuned in what you're making? Oh yeah, JJ said that some people just tuned in. We are making pasta with broccoli and anchovies. Pasta con i broccoli e le acciughe. It's uh, an Italian dish that uh, is very popular all over Italy. Uh, some, some of you ask north or south. Well, I'm from the north and I make it. My grandmother from the south never made it to me, so I guess it's more of the north. But I have friends uh, that make it, they are from the south, but they are from Naples, for instance, so they are near the sea. So I think it's for a, a recipe for people that, um, that love fish. So there, and here it is. The sauce is going to turn out a little bit like this. So I said you cook some garlic, you put the anchovies, olive oil, and you cook them. Yes, I forgot one important ingredient. I don't know you guys, I love very uh, spicy food, JJ doesn't like it, but I like to uh, add always a red hot chili pepper, peperoncino, si chiama in italiano peperoncino, e oggi si cucina perché ho fame, I'm hungry, so we're gonna put some peperoncino, as much as you want, I don't put very much because JJ doesn't really like it, I will put the whole thing, so the sauce is basically ready, at this point, if you don't know how long to cook your pasta, you can uh, switch on the fire. You can cook your pasta there. I told you short pasta, it's better for this recipe. Normally, uh, in Italy, they make orecchiette with this one, which is, is like a, a shell pasta. It's like a, a little hand. I couldn't find orecchiette, so I'm always saying, if you don't find the orecchiette, which is the original shape of pasta for this recipe, 
any kind of um, short pasta will do. And I always explain that when the sauce is more um, liquid with tomatoes uh, or with, uh, with cream, we tend to like uh, pasta that are uh, embracing the sauce, so short pasta. When, when it's liquid, it's more uh, long pasta. When it's uh, like chubby, then I prefer to use this thing, so it's the other way around. Uh, quando la pasta, quando il, il ragù uh, pezzi grandi, when the, the, your sauce are big pieces, you need short pasta, any kind of shape, so it will embrace your uh, sauce. And when the sauce is liquid, like with tomatoes, or for instance, uh, um, uh, uh, aglio e olio is another one of simple, simple recipe with oil and garlic, and that's it, and, and paprika, you need spaghetti because it's gonna you know, the pasta doesn't need to embrace nothing, the sauce goes everywhere. So my pasta is ready, so here's what I'm going to do. That's my pasta. Voila, cooked. I'm going to take my bowl. Here it is. And I'm going to put my pasta here. So easy. So calculated, this is all made for you, so this easy is this recipe. So here is my pasta. Not overcooked because you know it has to be a little bit al dente. This is still the bite is delicious. And look at that. I'm gonna take my sauce. So remember, anchovies, broccoli, and you don't have to add uh, salt. Somebody was asking, do I need to put? Yeah, you put salt on your pasta because the pasta you have to cook it with salt. So no more salt. But you don't need to put salt uh, salt on. Um, on the sauce because the anchovies are very salty and here is my pasta look at this you put them all together it's nice it's healthy here we go did you, did you show already the the ingredients show them again and again as i said if you are missing if you're watching and you missed the beginning you can always uh, watch this video uh, later or uh, whenever you want because they're all going to uh, my website which is jada.life and then you can uh, watch them back. So here is my pasta, believe it or not, is ready. And, um, oh yeah, of course I forget that you guys cannot see it. Can you, I can smell the garlic, I can smell the anchovy and the broccoli. Take, keep in mind that for instance, I do not like broccoli, it's not my favorite vegetable, but I do love this pasta. JJ does not love the anchovies and he loves this pasta. Which said, this is so easy, you're gonna take your plate. JJ, can you, can you, I have the dishwasher that keeps going on by itself. So many of you wanted to see JJ because of course JJ, while I'm doing this video, it's my um, cameraman, it's my sound engineer. So I know the summer, you were asking every day, can we see JJ? Of course you can see JJ. So JJ today does, since today is the only day that I'm not singing, so he doesn't have to do much. So I, I asked JJ to come here and eat the plate of pasta with me. So ladies and gentlemen, doo -doo -doo -doo, here's JJ. <laughs> here it is. So JJ is a real thing. Hello. Hello. So I'm gonna put for JJ some pasta. I know you love this pasta and you don't love, like anjofis, but you like it. Is that That's enough? Okay. That's more than enough. That's more than enough. So we're having lunch here in front of the camera for all of you. Yeah. So I have some leftover. If you guys want to come, you get a little bit more, JJ. Come on. Shall I do the cheese? You do the cheese. So JJ is going to be doing the cheese. If the pasta is a leftover, no problem whatsoever because you can put it in the refrigerator and you can eat it cold. That's what JJ likes to do. You put uh, the diet spoon uh, in. JJ loves cheese, so he always called this little spoon. Show how small it is. It's so cute, though. It's a little, it's a little spoon that I love to to put my cheese. JJ would put like the biggest spoon I have in my kitchen for the cheese because he loves cheese. Me, I'm like, hey. So look at that. Hey, JJ, we're gonna have lunch in front of the camera. So guys, I hope you're gonna make this recipe. If you're gonna make this recipe, you know, I always ask you to uh, take uh, a pictures of yourself and many of you do it. So, buon appetito, buona. which means bon app, bon appetito. And let's see, do you do a good job? Mmm, JJ is enjoying the pasta. Mmm, so guys, I don't know if you had already lunch. If you don't have it, I will suggest to you, you make this one tomorrow. It's kind of cool, eh? No, very nice. So guys, while JJ and I were eating, I even have uh, my glass of water, I'm trying to find a sponsor to uh, deliver some wine, because this will be nice with a glass of wine. Mm. So uh, hopefully one of these days I'm gonna have uh, uh, wine, so you guys, I can also, do, I will say with this one, I'm red going wine. to do the sound again. 
Oh, JJ go back to the sound while he's, he said that he's going to do the sound. Actually, he's going there to eat the pasta because there's not much to do with the, with the sound. So, but anyway, you can have with this dish, you can have uh, uh, some nice uh, red wines if you like red. And it's delicious. Of course, I'm going to have it today with my water. I hope you guys are going to um, really enjoy this recipe. Um, Mamma, devi provare a farla con le acciughe. I'm telling to my mother that yes, she has to try to make it with the anchovies because you don't really test the anchovies. And look at that, you don't see the anchovies. So when you have a bite of, of pasta, you just feel something salty, but you don't, you don't taste anything of the anchovies, I promise you. And Natalie can confirm that. I made it for her. She hates anchovies and she loves this pasta. So I'm going to have my lunch. And what else can I say? I want to thank each and every one of you for having been with me every day. Uh, let's recap the sign language. So today, si cucina, and I've learned something else, that this is a sign for music and singing, and this is a sign for person. So tomorrow, which is like this, so tomorrow I will be a singer. Today, this is a sign for today, I uh, was a chef. I was a person that cooked, at least somebody that loved to do. And today we celebrate uh, the, the birthday of uh, a few nice people. We celebrate the birthday. This is the sign for happy birthday to Clint Holmes and Billy Joel. And uh, what else? And, uh, and I told you a few words in Italian. I told you that today, oggi si cucina. So today we cooked. And uh, uh, domani si canta. That's something else that you can learn. Tomorrow we will sing. So domani si canta. So domani si canta. I don't know how come you say si canta. Probably this is the sign for singer. Maybe si canta is like that. If I was uh, an inventor of sign language, I would be like, tomorrow uh, we sing. So Diane is going to be laughing at me. And uh, so tomorrow we'll sing it. I'm going to bring all the stuff back to my office. We're going to have the, the, the green screen. We are going to be singing some special request songs, of course. And tomorrow is going to be Mother's Day. I know some of you requested uh, Mama and I did it on Cameo. So if you wanted me to sing Mama, I hope you already requested on Cameo. You're still on time. I can, I can do it this afternoon, maybe two or three, no more than that. So if you have a special Mama that you want me to sing Mama, I can record it for you for Cameo. You can go on cameo.com slash Giada Valenti. But tomorrow we will celebrate celebrating uh, um, a few uh, people. And I want to thank each and every one of you uh, that these days uh, really um, went to the tip jar and left uh, the tip just to uh, thank me for doing this every day. Believe me, it's uh, quite a job that I'm doing every day. And I want to thank Doug Hartline for being my editor-in-chief because he's been a great help. He, he, at least he can do some research for me every day. And Natalie, that always helped me with the, the, the pictures and everything. Next week, if you have missed this recipe and you just tune in now and uh, don't, be, pa don't panic or you want to see other recipe I made because you love the one of today, you can go back on jada.live and you can watch all the video there. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank all of you for doing that. Many of you are there. Um, uh, let me see if there are some comments there because today I can even read some comments. Who is there? Do we have new people? I have Genesessa. You've been with me every day. Antonio has been there every day. Ooh, many people, so many people has been there. So um, I'm going to read the comments. You know, I, every time I, uh, I read the comments and I answer back to you, I want to thank Ronnie Manicotti that sent me all these uh, uh, beautiful um, towel things. This is one of my favorites. I use it today. So I thank you for that, Ronnie. And also thank you, Ronnie, for uh, for the tip, for the donations. I want to thank uh, Elena Beninato, that, that Elena also from Las Vegas gave me a nice tip. And Lisa, you're so sweet. Lisa understood the meaning of all of this. And every day she's watching, she sent me $1, $2. So thank you for that. It's like a tip. When you go to the restaurants, you want to thank the waiter for serving you. So thank you, Lisa, for uh, for helping me. Uh, it's a pleasure to serve you. And I really appreciate your, your little tips. They mean the world to me. And for all of you that have been doing donations and tips uh, or will do it, because I'm always like to thank people in advance. I'm going to be seeing you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have the concert. So we go back to the office with the back screen. I took it for two weeks in a row to Venice, to La Fenice Theater. So tomorrow probably I take it somewhere else. I was thinking about maybe because we, we uh, it was a special day yesterday with uh, V-Day, maybe I take it to England, to Paris or something like that. Um, 
I will surprise you tomorrow. What else uh, can I say? I'm just going to say I'm going to be enjoying my pasta. I hope you're going to make it. If you make it, please take a pictures of your plate. And one of these days, I have to show you guys. You guys have been amazing. By the way, tomorrow is Mother's Day. So you still have until Monday. If you want my recipe for tiramisu, you can go on my website. And there is a button with tiramisu. And you can download uh, for free. The booklet with all the recipe and the, you know, I show you yesterday, I think George, uh, JJ can show again that uh, I make tiramisu every year for my mom. That picture that JJ showing was with my mom and dad was last year. So today, um, this year, unfortunately, I won't be there with them. But that's the tiramisu I made last year. And every time I like to write, uh, I love you, mama, or mama number one. So if you um, download for free the booklet of tiramisu, you find also those uh, pattern that you can cut yourself. And uh, you can decorate and put wherever you want on uh, your tiramisu. They are all the, the things are well uh, well done, so you can just need to cut them. And when you you sparkle with uh, chocolates, you can uh, you can um, write wherever you want. That's my mom and dad with I love you, mom. And I really do love you, mom. Mama, se stai guardando, tanti auguri per la festa della mamma domani. Non sarò lì con te, ma tu e il papà siete sempre nel mio cuore. I just said to my mom, Happy Mother's Day tomorrow. Even though I'm not there with my mom and dad, they are always in my heart, which is uh, true. I miss them tremendously every day. Thank God we have FaceTime so I can get to see her. And she gets to see me while I'm cooking. Mamma, spero che ti piace questa ricetta. Ragazzi, um, coming week I have some amazing guests. Um, I'm going to have uh, Michelle Johnson on Tuesday, Tony Orlando on Wednesday, and Mike Marino on Thursday. So you don't want to miss that. Every time, 2 p.m., 5 p.m. for you guys on the East Coast. And, of course, ora 23 per voi in Italia. Giada Valenti, qui da Las Vegas. È sempre un piacere passare un pomeriggio con voi. It's always a pleasure to spend uh, a couple, uh, an hour, almost an hour with you for 54 days. Ci vediamo domani. I'll see you tomorrow. Guys, I love you and I will be seeing you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Actually, not same place because I'm going to be in the office. And tomorrow, domani si canta. Tomorrow we'll sing. Buon appetito! Mm -hmm. I hope you guys are going to make this pasta. Mm -hmm. Dear old Uncle Shun, thank you for seeing me again. Now I go, but I truly hope that I'll see you here sometime, same place. And until then, my heart just say, Uncle Shun. Dear old Danke schön, thank you for seeing me again. Though I'm here in my solitude, I know you are there, and in my heart I smile again. And so I sing here in my solitude, waiting. See you same time, same place, and I can't wait to say again. Danke schön, danke schön, danke schön, dear old Alfie de Sen. See you tomorrow. A domani.